Hello again and welcome. I think the title of the video was a little bit of a giveaway. Uh, this is a fail video and uh, it wasn't a spectacular fail. I haven't actually got the fail as it happened on video because I was just doing a bit of cleaning up uh, at the bottom. I decided to go another inch down which I was doing and I was just tidying up the wall and I went through the bottom. It didn't fly off the lathe but it, it got so thin you could see light through it on that one piece there. So that's one of those things. Uh, I'm putting the video up really just to show that things don't always go the way that we plan. Um, I also have various ideas for a fix at a future date and I'd like to thank all my Facebook friends for giving me many suggestions which I will consider and hopefully come up with a decent fix in the coming months. I'm going to put it away in shavings in a bag, let it dry out uh, quite a bit more. It's not about 15% now I think and um, after the turning and then we'll have a look at it at a later date. The reason I'm putting the video up, it might be of interest to some of the newer turners out there, some of the techniques and the methods I've used. used. And uh, apart from that, everybody likes a fail now and again, don't they? So there it is, two-piece vase. They're quite well known for two-piece objects anyway. Um, enjoy the video.
Well, I had to leave the turning um, overnight, so what I did was cover the piece in cling film or cling wrap. And <clears throat> a little tip, if you have to leave a wet turning, because this was 24, 25% when I started turning, and if I'd left it overnight uncovered, um, because I'd started to shape it and hollow it, it's going to dry out and there's a good chance of it splitting. But I think the, um, the method of thin film tends to slow up that process and all being well, it'll be as I left it. Some people use the black stretch film as well. Just a little note that might be of interest to you. And it all looks pretty good. I mean, it would be interesting, I suppose, just while we're here, before we carry on hollowing out. I left the shavings in there as well from the last. It's really damp on top. Just check the moisture on the outside. And it's 17, 18%, which is really quite... And down the bottom here is the same. So during the turning, and since yesterday morning, it's actually lost 6% in moisture and there are no more visual cracks at the moment. Well, I hope some of you enjoyed that and I said in the beginning that unfortunately I didn't have footage of the actual faux pas, but nevertheless I think you got the idea. So this is going to weigh now as I said at the beginning of the video to dry out and we'll see what sort of a fix we can come up with in the coming months. Well thank you very much indeed for watching, stay safe in these troubled times, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Cheers now.